Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Last video we looked at how you find an inlet manifold leak using inlet diagnostics. In this video I'm going to show you how to repair that inlet manifold leak without removing the inlet manifold. And it's a very simple procedure on any car with the M62 or M60 or M62 TUB engine this trick can be used on all of them. It's a very simple procedure. There's the evidence of a manifold leak. Um, the adaptation additive value is heading towards 20, and that means there's a vacuum leak somewhere. So usually the best thing to do is start with the manifold. Here's five of the 10 fixings that hold the manifold to the heads. And there's the inlet ports where that is compressed onto. There's 10 studs. Underneath the manifold, which is what we're looking at here, are four gaskets made out of silicon rubber and these shrink, shrink with age. And the problem is that they're compressed by hollow fixings. Here's one here. And no matter how much you tighten it up, it will not push the manifold uh, down onto the cylinder head. And so those gaskets will not seal and you'll get air leaks through there. So a simple addition of uh, M12 washer underneath the hollow fixing gives much more compression and so seals the manifold. I did this about three or four years ago, haven't had a manifold leak since. E31, get the windscreen wiper in the middle, conical nut, which is 9mm, comes off. Um, and then there's two 7mm self-tapping screws, one each side. Heater valve cover has to come off. I've put magnets underneath mine uh, because they're so hard to get off without breaking them. Right, here's the other 7mm self-tapping screw coming out. And then the microfilter assembly can come out as one piece. It gives us much more room. Um, there's a bit of room on the E38, but not much. That fixing, that connector has to get out of the way. Number two, that's fine. Number three is fine. Number four is okay. Number five, that jubilee clip gets in the way. Back right hand side of the engine, that bracket has to move out of the way. This one, you need to move that bracket. That's a 10 mil bolt on that or nut, I think. Next one's fine. Next one's fine. Uh, that's number nine. That's fine. Number 10, that's where we're going to start. A bit fiddly to get to. So 13 mil nut, as far as I remember. Um, so 30mm socket and it should come off with a bit of a ting as it comes undone. There we go. Terrible camera work I'm afraid. I'll have to sort that out. And uh, long nose pliers pull out the hollow fixing. And what we do with this hollow fixing is that we take off that the rubber compression piece and then we're going to add that M12 washer. Form A it is. Uh, available everywhere. Then we put the rubber compression piece back on, fit it all, including the nut, on a long screwdriver, drop it onto the fixing. All sounds easy, it's a bit fiddly in real life, and then do it back up again. And the interesting thing is, as you do it up, the last couple of turns, you can feel the uh, compression, you can feel that rubber pushing down on the manifold, and that will stop the inlet manifold leaks from those gaskets. Do all 10 of them, and you're done. Right, there's a couple of other points worth saying while well, we're at it, which is the rubber bungs on the PCV valve at the back. Um, the E38 doesn't have any because it uses all the vacuum takeoff points, but on the E31 we've got two of them. Um, first thing we always check is the vacuum line from the PCV. There it is there, and that runs to the fuel pressure regulator. Check this not gone hard and it's got no cracks in it. Um, here's the first um, vacuum takeoff point bung. Take the collar off, pull it off. That looks fine. I replaced it five years ago. I also replaced the one underneath it five years ago and that's the vacuum takeoff point for the booster. But in this case it's only five years old but it's cracked all the way through and I'll start getting a small vacuum leak from that at some point. There's the part number, there's the part. So it's a simple case of replacing that. There we go, new and old, exactly the same bit. 
I've only got one because uh, I got a number of them when I replaced the bungs four or five years ago, so a new one on. That's all sealed up. And then we bung the microfilter cover back on again. Um, quite easy. The hardest bit is getting the 7mm self-tapping screws in without losing them. Um, so uh, be careful as you do it. Right, both of them in. Conical nuts are 9mm. Don't do it up tight. Just do it up uh, enough so it starts compressing the forked bit of metal from the cover. Seals back on. Um, that's about it really. Um, cover on. Yes, I say magnets on that so I don't have to worry about it. As uh, simple as that really is. I mean, um, so so much more simple than taking the manifold off. So that's it. Thanks very much. See you next time.